Hello and welcome to Stir Crazy Art Classes with Gerald Savine, lesson number 10, project number 5. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit more talking for the moment, um, explaining about perspective. We've done perspective as it were linear, but here we're going to talk about perspective um, in colour and also um, about laying your picture out, composition. Um, and also, dare I say, a bit of um, art, um, artist's um, liberties as well, more what we're actually doing. You'll see, you'll see to that in the, shortly. Um, looking here, um, this is the project we'll be working on, which is sort of a view of the Malvern Hills. There's Malvern in the background. Uh, this area here is, is supposed to be a place called Castle Morton Common. Well, those that know that area know that they don't, don't grow... <coughs> wheat on the common it's all grass but this is where we're bringing artistic license into what we're doing also <coughs> this church here is actually halfway up the hill there but I wanted to be the subject of the painting uh, but also we want to talk about composition can you see how the f these the corn flows into this area here? the path here isn't straight but it goes round <coughs> this here again draws your eye in through to the path and then through to here the here and here and here and here bring your eye into the picture and again you need to think about things like that when you are laying your picture out if you're working for a photograph don't just copy the photograph think about how you can make it into a more of a nice painting, surprising how people won't realise what you've done at times. Um, and again, the other area is, um, can you see how bright the colouring is here? It's not, not strong colouring as such, but because it's light, again it's coming forward. Trees here, and you see we bring in some uh, the greens, but mixing ye lemon yellow with it, which gives again a nice fresh brightness and it pulls that forward and again you've got these colours we've got um, raw and burnt siennas working here and then as we go back again here these are quite dark but again because they're, they're as it were smaller and slightly less detail compared to here again you have the visual effect of going away and then by the time we get to all these trees in the background again, it says less and less detail some are quite dark and again with the hills can you see here the sun is coming from the left so it's brighter there you've got the shadow which is giving shape to the hills and as we go away although this is quite thin here it's still brighter and as it goes away it goes slightly duller and duller um, you get the atmosphere coming along between yourself and the distance that's why quite often you get the sort of either bluey or pur purpley colours in the hills again with the sky can you see the stronger colouring here because it's nearer to you? But as it goes away, it gets you've got obviously got some clouds going on there as well. But can you see the colour gets lighter and lighter? So you have the effect of uh, the whole composition, a big view across the countryside, but your eyes are still drawn in to the main subject, which will be that, that little uh, little Morgan Priory church. Now what I want to now show you is a, it's about laying a picture out. Um, you often hear things talked about um, thirds, the, going up the page at a third. Well, surprisingly, I don't particularly worry about that, but quite often my pictures do land up in thirds. So you've got one, two, three, but that was accidental. But it's the balance, the natural, I think obviously the way the eyes work. <coughs> When you start doing this, you've got to lay out what I call the scaffold. You've got this area here, so to describe that area, I've put a line through there, a light line, then I've put that through there, then I've gone and put this line through. Can you again, can you see how they're coming into the picture? And these are leading you up. Then we've then brought in other lines here. For the hills but it's also framing the church again here and here and as we go 
the, the Malvern Hills go away from you. You've got the lines coming here. I haven't worried about the trees in the detail. Then I've gone back, brought this line in, and then this one, which is the top of the corn. And then we've gone the squiggly, what I call squiggly little lines, layers of trees and bushes. Um, and again through here and through here and through here. I'm just gradually building those up as a guide and then I just put these little bits in here to, uh, to represent the Morven itself. <clears throat> what you might find useful is if you can pull this fi the file for this exercise onto your desktop or onto your, your ph phone if that's what you're working with you've got more time you can go back and look at it you can as it's running through you can you can pause it you can see all this here um, more clearly give you time to work on it it will take a little time we're not going to be rushing through quite as quickly as we did with the other exercises oh, by the way these little bits here are supposed to be as we will see later bits of grass and things that are going growing through the corn um, so Again, just take your time, um, and if you can't download it, and hopefully there's enough time here for you to pick up what, what, we've, been, what we've been doing. Um, the other thing is, I say, with, with, I think with, I believe that there's a limit in days as how long the the, the art classes can be on uh, YouTube and um, Facebook. So again, it might be useful to if you can go back to all of them. And one at a time, pull them off your uh, computer or off your telephone, and download them onto your um, uh, desktop and save them. I, I'm, you know, put a file. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for you to keep them and to look through them. And also, perhaps you could then also pass them on um, to friends as well. It'd be nice. Um, I think as time goes by, um, we're all going to get a bit more sort of fed up and know what, not knowing what to do. And the whole purpose of doing these classes is to give you a new experience, a new hobby, um, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping, again, from my point of view, is teaching you to look, open your eyes and look at the world around you, and show you how you can take information um, from photographs and create um, paintings, rather than just copying the photographs. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just beginning to lay this picture out for you. I've got my Got my pad here. Um, again, this with the painting we're going to do is smaller than uh, the one we've done before. But again, just to demonstrate, at this stage I will do my lines a bit heavier, but I want you to be um, lighter with your lines. So I'm going to come at the moment. I'm going to do that line there, coming through here, um, and so you can. Um, rub this out later on or get these go, go stronger. I hope, I hope you can see this. But you see again this here is leaning your eyes. You may notice the fact that the church is not in the middle of the picture. Um, and again as, as ever I will say that what I'm doing now it won't necessarily land up looking exactly the same as the, the one we've already done. But there we go there's that field there. We've then we've got this line here again it's leading you down Hope you can see this. Um, in and that's as it were going to be hugging the bottom of the, of the church. This line here, sort of leading you into that. Then we've got again the line coming here. You can already see that the uh, things aren't going to be quite the same, and this is going to give a framework down. Um, and it's going again, going back up here again. So it's all leading your eye um, down to the object of the painting. Now I'm afraid I've, my proportions are right out the window here, and uh, we're going to have less sky than, um, than I indicated originally. So we're going to come down here, coming through here. Can you see that? I hope it's not. I hope it's strong enough for you. Lovely Morven Hills. I have to say that we actually live 
the southern end. You can't see the area where we live, but it's further along. But this is the here is the, what they call the Worcester Beacon, which is the highest, actually the highest point of the Morven Hills. So that's going down through there, and you get North Hill at the back, and then, then comes down into there. Um, for the moment, I'm going to keep that as that. I might I might do some adjustment in, um, in between, but for the next lesson, um, I hopefully this will help you set begin to set this up. And again, the important thing here is learning that we take the information we have and we compose the picture. Here again, I've taken grass and made it a cornfield so that. <clears throat> Your eyes are taken round to the main subject. Now, just as a quick um, line-up, where you can see the colours that I'm, I should be using, um, either Payne's grey or um, ultramarine blue, sap green, lemon yellow, yellow ochre, burnt and raw siennas, burnt umber, cerulean blue, a bit of red for the lovely poppies, and possibly, possibly a bit of the purple lake to work in to the background here. Um, so we'll leave it like that for the moment. Now, can I also just, and, and this is just whether it will be helpful or not, I don't know, but um, if you've got time, and you can see this, I've done this for you. If you go to www.geraldsavine.co.uk, you can see um, some of the paintings um, uh, that I do and, my, and Janice, my wife, does as well. Um, and also you can see a little bit about the art classes we run. But um, hopefully you might find of interest. Uh, but also, feel free to pass on these, about these classes to, to your friends. Okay, so we'll call that a day for now. And we look forward to uh, lesson number 11.